Let's take a look how to quickly create waves, capes, or flowing hair using the Wave Warp tool in After Effects. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tips Art and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This is a nice quick one where we're going to learn how to use the same tool to create really quick um, waving fabric, waving hair, moving water, simple wave effects in After Effects. Very versatile, can be applied to a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to take you through this cape example uh, and also through the hair example here. Uh, the waves one you should be able to figure out for yourself. So let's just jump right in. Let's do the cape first, that's the simplest one. You see here I've got a man that is just wiggling a little bit over time. All we're going to do is draw a static cape shape on him. Let's make this cape a nice bold red colour. And I'm just going to draw the cape as if it had no uh, rippling, no air moving through it. So I'm just going to give it a rough triangular shape and we'll neaten it up so that this looks pretty even on either side. Looks pretty good. I'm going to take this cape and drag it below our character now and I'm going to rename the layer cape. Uh, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to pop the anchor point at the top middle there. Grab my rotation, alt click it, and I'm just going to type in wiggle every one second. Let's have it wiggle maybe five degrees. And what that's going to do is just give us a little bit of basic movement on the cape there. Go to your effects and presets panel and type in a wave warp and drag and drop that onto your shape layer. You'll notice it's gonna create all sorts of wibbly lines. Now, obviously, if your edge of your shape hits the edge of your composition, you're gonna to want to pin that. So I'm just gonna to go to pin all edges. And what that's gonna do is wherever this hits the edge of the composition, it's not going to warp it. Let's increase the height of the wave, which increases the depth of the wave motion. And the width of the wave changes uh, how much space one wave takes up. So the higher the width, the longer, the wider the wave. Makes sense, right? The only other setting you'll need to change for this one is just making sure the direction aligns with the direction of movement that you want. That will obviously affect your height as well. So if I went to zero, for example, the wave would be traveling up the cape. So we'd want that to be 180 degrees, which is the opposite direction. Wave speed affects how fast that goes. So if we play that, that looks slightly too fast. Let's maybe put that at 0.7. So 0.7 of a second, I assume. That wave height is way too much. And the wave depth is a little bit too little for this example. And I'm just going to stretch the shape so that with the wiggle, it doesn't overcome the edge. And there you have the first example of the moving cape. Really simple, really easy to do. Add a little bit of noise and a filter to that to make it look a little bit nicer and your job's done. Let's take a look at the hair then. Another similar example. As you can see here, we have um, a lady who doesn't have any hair at the moment. So what we're going to do is add three different variations of the wave warp with different settings to show you how um, you can do low, small waves or tight, large waves, anything that you'd like. So I'm just going to grab once again my tool, my pen tool here. I'm going to pick the color of her eyebrow and I'm just going to give myself a lot of room and draw a large shape here, which could be the edge of this lady's hair. We can then just position that slightly out of the way. We'll call this one hair right. And I'm just hitting control space with my shortcut here from uh, effects console. If you just want this, you can just Google effects console or come up. It does the same thing as typing effects and presets up here. I'm going to go to my wave warp and apply that to the layer. Again, for this one, we're going to want pinning to be all edges. Uh, we're just going to change the height for this one as well as the width. The width we're going to have to crank up a whole way. So we'll make that maybe a thousand and we'll make the height much larger. The speed for this one, 0.5, will be fine. And you can see we have quite a lot of movement in that hair. Uh, we want to make sure that the direction of that aligns roughly with the direction of movement of that line. So it looks like it's coming from the root source there. That's fine. We'll duplicate that layer, call it hair left. Move this shape down here. Rotate the shape 180 degrees, which means we'll have to rotate this hair back the other way so that it continues to both move in the same direction, uh, possibly. And it looks okay like that. Let's see about that. And this one we're just going to position off screen a little bit. And for a touch of variation, we'll just make the waves a little bit shorter so they're not moving exactly the same time. That looks pretty good. 
Now I need a triangle in the middle because we had a strand of hair coming down the center. Like so. Hair mid. Wave warp. Now this one, you can just go to pinning to the left edge will probably work because there's no other edges that are touching it. Again, if you do pinning to the center, that's going to make the center not warp, but the edges warp everywhere. Most of the time, all edges is going to work just fine. Notice that does stop a little bit of the uh, wave starting further down. This one, if we increase the wave width and height, you'll notice where it comes to a point, that point is always going to remain um, fluid. So basically the wave warp, it respects the original um, shape and just applies a warping effect to that. What this means is you're going to get a perfect loop uh, from your wave warp, which makes it great for things like hair because then they're blowing in the wind and it's going to warp perfectly the entire way through. And that's really all there is to it. It's just all about changing the settings to be something that you're happy with, applying a few filters over the top to make it look a little bit nicer. Different speeds, different heights, different widths create different effects. Thank you very much for watching this nice quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of that junk, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Tip Top. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.